I walked across the Millennium Bridge in front of the Tate Gallery and found a set of steps down to one of the little beaches on the side of the Thames uh, that happens when the tide is out. I walked along it and found um, an old anchor which sort of encapsulates the past history of the Thames with big boats. Uh, I set up my easel and painted from that particular point with the, with the uh, anchor to the foreground. St. Paul's to the Gherkin and interspread with a number of towers of the churches which Sir Christopher Wren designed after the Great Fire of London in 1666. Um, I was happy enough on this particular site. The, the, the actual location um, was, was gave me a good composition. I squashed it a little bit in the sense that I used a little bit of artistic license to actually get the composition together. So some of the buildings are a little bit out of their normal um, size. So they're squashed to, to get the Gherkin and St Paul's in. <laughs> One of the challenges of this painting, of this particular painting, was that it had to be achieved before the tide came in. This, this, the, the site I picked to do it from was actually below the waterline when the tide came in. So there was a certain element of the, the amount of time that it was allocated to do it. Um, and I left as the tide was encroaching uh, upon me. Um, it's a, sort of an exhilarating uh, feeling when you actually have to go and achieve and finish something or, or else get drowned in the process. So this painting was one of those uh, uh, occasions. So here we had a glimpse of the old and the new and in the foreground was the forever busy uh, river traffic although the big ships have gone from the Thames the traffic is still there for tourists, pleasure boats and for the barges that deliver goods upriver either pulled, pulled or shoved by tug. <laughs> Bridge, uh, uh, when it was built first, it was called the Drunken Bridge because it actually swayed a lot in, as people walked across it. So as they, they went over and back across the bridge, it swayed. So they actually had to put a whole set of stabiliser and uh, stabilisers on it to, 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 to make it safe for people. The painting was done in the middle of the afternoon. There was a certain amount of light in the earlier part, but it started to de decreasing as the evening came on with the odd spot of rain coming. It was a moody but yet colourful painting of the buildings across on the quaysides, which were actually uh, sort of just visible uh, as the tide came, came back in. <laughs>
This painting was set out to actually capture the, the skyline of the City of London and I think it did, did so in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a vibrant manner. When I completed the painting, I, I removed myself in bits and pieces, so I took the painting off the easel first and walked down along the, uh, the river bank and took it out to safety because, um, you know, sand and oil paint are, are not a good combination, so it's important to actually get the painting out of a location that's going to endanger it. Um, then I came back and retrieved the rest of my bits and pieces easel and, and paints and brushes. So um, it was a bit of excitement along the riverbank.